Okay, so I'm Grandpa, and um, we just got back from Colorado gold panning and California. We actually panning our traveling our big bus here, and um, while we were in Colorado, we encountered a couple of problems. One is there's not much gold there. Um, two is uh, Cache Creek, it's dirty, nasty, and it's really no fun. Um, but when you go to the river, the problem is in the Colorado River or the Arizona River. The water's deep; it's moving really fast. And there's not really a place you could put a sluice up. So you have to be a little more inventive than that. So what I've done is I've taken um, some stuff and I've made basically a, it's kind of like a high banker without the grizzly, and it also we use it as a recirculating sluice. So I'm going to show you how you put it together and how it works. So what I did was I just bought a, uh, it's a regular sluice, job sluice like you get, and I paid it 100 bucks for it, I think, on the internet. I drilled a couple of holes in it and I put a, a bar up on the top just to, so it can push some water. It's made out of three quarter inch PVC and I put some holes in the front. You can see it's just held on with some wire ties, no big deal. And um, the spray bar attaches to this, which again is just made out of PVC. And I put a valve on it so that I can adjust the water flow if I want to. And, um, this is just a bilge pump. It's a, as you can see, it's a thousand gallon per hour bilge pump, and um, you get them from a marine store. And this is just a hose. Now, when I'm using this, I put hose clamps on it so it doesn't leak any water. But just to show how it works, we're just going to put it together. Now, the other thing that I did is I put front legs on it, and with this, like I said, it kind of turns it into a high banker, so they don't have to be actually in the water. I can be up on the bank. The longer the hose you use, the further away from the water you can be. These pumps will pump a long ways. Um, we tested it with a, 20, with a 15 foot long hose, and even at 15 feet away from the water, it works fine. So, I use a wheelchair battery to pump, to run everything. The wheelchair batteries work really well. Um, I do with this. I also have a Desert Fox uh, spiral wheel that we use as well. And again, I use the wheelchair battery. Um, runs all day. Actually, I think I can run it two or two days without charging. So this has just a couple of nuts. You can see it. So now I have front legs. Well, my wife keeps saying that we seem to lose a lot of gold when we do this. So what I did was I created another piece of sluice for it. So this is kind of like an add-on. It goes together real easy. It just slides into my front legs like that. So I just I use the same ripple um, rubber up on the top, a, a piece of screen, and underneath that a little piece of carpet. All this comes apart. What I do is I just drill some holes and use nails, and my ripples ripples are just pieces of, of wood that I've cut triangle shaped. And again, to put it together. You just slide them back down the hole and the nails hold it all together for you so nothing can come out. And it's pretty solid down against everything. So the idea is you turn the water on and the water runs down the sluice, into this sluice, and out. Now if you want it to be a recirculating sluice, I do it a little different. I don't use this piece. And actually I use something other than a five gallon bucket, but this is good for the demonstration. The five gallon bucket comes in right here. You see it actually fits really well. And basically, the pump just goes in the bucket. And so now what you have is a recirculating sluice that pumps a thousand gallons an hour, so it says on the pump. Um, this works pretty well. I think before we go this time I'm going to replace the pump with a little bigger, probably 1,500 gallons an hour, and make the holes up at the top a little bigger. And I might design a grizzly to fit on top of it up here so that I can just more get a little more material through it. In, uh, about a week of panning gold, we did actually accomplish some. Here's our, that's our gold production, you can see in the bottle. This is uh, about a week and a half at uh, the Arkansas Head River and uh, right at the top of the river actually. And also it's a little bit in California near Angel's Camp. So as you can see this is really fine gold. We use the sluice, and like I said, we use the Desert Fox. The Desert Fox will get gold that is it, it, it's, it's shamefully tiny. 
um, along with the bigger stuff. But it will actually, we're amazed. We use a magnifying glass sometimes actually to get it out of the pan, but we save it all. In that bottle is three tenths of one gram. And uh, this is what my wife does when uh, I'm panning gold. She's an artist. She paints. This is a picture that she's painting right now <laughs> as she falls over the chair. Um, here's what she's painting it off of. This is a place that we were at. Oh, no, that's not the right one. Here it is right here. Here's the original picture. And um, this is uh, a place on a place called Fanning Island. Uh -huh. We were there a few years ago in our sailboat. And that's it.